Think Glob, it's Friday, am I right? Hmm. Just got back from Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm gonna be completely honest. It's not as good as the first one. I hate to say it, and it might be an unfair comparison, but it just isn't as good. Let me start from a base understanding. The Avengers worked because everything was set up going into the movie. The first Thor movie gave you Loki, Iron Man gave us Iron Man and S.H.I.E.L.D., and Captain America gave us the Blue Cube, the Tesseract. All these things formed the basic plot of the movie, and we were already introduced to all the characters. So when the movie started, all we needed was all of it to come together. We were excited to see the characters meet, and have to fight Loki for the cube. That was it. It was very simple. We only had a couple of major storylines going on there, and it all flowed very nicely. But with Age of Ultron, nothing was set up going in. We don't know Ultron, our villain. We don't know any of the new characters being introduced. We don't know what he's after. So it all has to be set up. And that doesn't work when they're also trying to have a storyline for virtually every character in the Avengers. Captain America's mad at Iron Man for making Ultron without asking. You have this sort of forced relationship between Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk, and Black Widow, aka Scarlett Johansson. We're given a whole lot more information on the backstory and life of Hawkeye. Then you have all that, plus the introduction of Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, Vision, or Villain Ultron. All these characters have to be introduced, explained to us, we have to meet them, we have to know what their motivations are, what their personality is. That's like eight storylines going on in one movie where you had three in the first one. And I'm not saying that couldn't work, but Avengers is a spectacular film. I just watched it yesterday. It's still enjoyable. It's still funny. Action's still great. The story, I still get caught up in the story. But here, a lot of these ideas could have worked. Conflict between Captain America and Iron Man is always interesting because both those actors really know how to play off one another. The idea that Bruce Banner and Black Widow have a relationship could have been interesting. They're both kind of the outcasts with dark backstories, dark pasts. It's really nice to know a lot more about Hawkeye. He's a lot more likable in this one. He's a lot more useful as well. And Ultron and Vision are both really good characters in this. None of these storylines are given enough screen time to really get going anywhere. And it just kind of makes the movie fall flat, unfortunately. I really wanted to like this movie. It just never really gets off the ground. The acting's good. It looks pretty. The screenwriting is funny. It just doesn't do enough to be one cohesive movie. And in the end, that affects how memorable it is and how enjoyable that is. So my final word is, I like this movie, I enjoyed it. If you're a Marvel fanatic and you have seen all the rest, you need to see this to kind of finish up the story. But don't go in expecting the first Avengers because it's not that. And that's all I have for you today. Join us next week for Think Love, It's Friday, where I'm sure something stupid will happen.